Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and I actually um, alluded to this like a few months ago, but I finally actually did it. So, everyone, um, I have a nice little, I guess, series going on for this new thing I'm doing, and I'm actually going to explore the Spider-Man 1994 new script. One thing you should know is that there are two scripts, sadly. One that I found, and it's the first one that if you look, if you type in 1994 Spider-Man script, this is the first link you'll see. And for some reason, Comic Book Cast chose the other script, which contains Dr. Octopus. I've read the first script. I didn't read the second one. The second one most likely will be in next week. So right now, I'm going to actually take a look and explain the whole entire script of 1994 Spider-Man. Let me tell you, that took like at least five hours to actually read and look at and review. Five hours. It it was too much. Oh my gosh. I was walking on the ceiling while reading it. I had to go outside and web up a nice little hammock to read it. It was just excruciating to read. It wasn't that bad, it's just that I had to also look into some stuff along with reading it. It took quite a while, but finally I did it, I have finished it, and I will say that this Spider-Man right here, 1994 Spider-Man, I would kind of have to say that this is exactly what they wanted to do with the Amazing Spider-Man. I'm shocked that they didn't just polished up a little bit on this script and decided to just say hey Matt use this script that's it it's like yeah it's it's exactly what they were going for in a way it was exactly what they were going for except it was more MTV stuff because it was the 90s MTV was a big huge thing so did I like it did I hate it uh, it had potential let me tell you, and I'm going to tell you in other videos too, that this would actually have been the first movie and the only movie that had Uncle Ben alive until the second half of the movie. That's right. Uncle Ben would have survived all the way to the second half of the movie. He doesn't die until the second half of the movie. That is just too insane. Maybe it's because I was reading it slow and doing stuff like that, but... Personally, from when I was looking at it, it seemed like Uncle Ben lasted a longer time slot than all the Uncle Bens we had so far. I guess I need to do a timer to see how long does it take for Uncle Ben to die. That sounds horrible, but... This Uncle Ben would have been the first and only Uncle Ben to ever last all the way to the second half of the movie. That's all I gotta tell you on that. Spider-Man is a bit different. Yeah, Spider-Man is actually kind of like what happened in the other in a way. So, yeah, he doesn't actually have web shooters. But he, they do nod to it. That's the cool part is that they do nod to the web shooters. But also the villains, you had Sandman and you had Electro in this movie. Well, lots of stuff happened. I'm just going to get right into it. So, well, stay tuned. I'm going to whip out Tell me what you guys think about this. Get ready for this whole entire series to explain everything in it. And peace.